Coming up this week on Freeze TV, it's finals time at the Billabong Slopestyle. We check in on race training with the Triple Cone Race Academy. We also head up to the Remarks to join the Vocal New Zealand Free Ski Open and check out day one of the Icebreaker Big Mountain. As well as wrap up the Burton New Zealand Open with Half Pipe Finals. I'm Tori Beatty and you're watching Freeze TV. <laughs> I think the whole setup as we have it here in Trebekon is couldn't be any better here. Uh, training on the absolutely highest elite level and uh, the awareness, the training commitment is just uh, not on our job uh, like they would train by themselves or somewhere else. So, uh, you know, they, they feel like uh, being in the best uh, treated environment and have the best setup. We see the benefit and uh, we uh, can see that the athletes are, are absolutely uh, performing to their best here. It's easily one of the one of the most, you know, fun destinations in the world. I met Gunther at a couple of races in Europe last year, and uh, he told me all about it and said it was real awesome. So I came down and checked it out, and it's just as awesome as he said. For us, the lodge is really important because we ha that's like our main base where uh, the kids come together after the skiing. Things uh, take place here at the lodge. Also, we have a lot of kids that are in homestay, so they come over to tune their skis here, to hang out, to do their video analysis with the coaches. We can do the dry land right here. You know, there's not a whole lot going on here, so we can go for a run, we can... It offers us everything we need in the afternoons to, to uh, make our day. So our day usually starts uh, pretty early because uh, we get the early morning starts. We take off here around 5.30. We start on snow around 7 o'clock, so we get the slopes when no one else is up there, which means that we get perfect training conditions in the mornings. Usually uh, we train a couple of hours in the morning and then head back down to the lodge. And the afternoons are usually uh, dry land training or ski tuning or different other activities. Today we did our video analysis and uh, we had the same run, first skied by the Norwegians and then skied by our kids. So they can not only see how well am I doing, but also how am I doing compared to the best in the world. And I think that's an opportunity that uh, you can hardly find anywhere else. The, the guys that ski the hill here, you know, at home, you maybe get to see them when they give an interview or at the price giving or so, uh, you know, the kids are happy to get an autograph from them. But being able to skiing down the same run actually that they are skiing is something which I think in Europe is only a privilege for very few kids. So it's like being able to join the All Blacks for a rugby game, which I wouldn't want to do. It's nice to watch like Bodhi just next to you or <laughs> Benny Reichel last week. Yeah, it's, I can learn of him. It's good every time you can train beside them or with them because uh, just watching them ski is uh, it's a good advantage for us. Uh, it's, it's been sweet. I mean, uh, every year has been better and better. World class training for sure. I mean, you got you can't ask for more. You got the Austrians here, then the Norwegians, and it's definitely good to watch them and good to ski on this hill. It gets you ready for anything, pretty much. 
that's absolutely the case. So when when you come over here and, and you see all these nationalities and you see this this this, this concentration of, of elite athletes and elite coaches and elite support crew, it's not only that the athletes, it's, it's the coaching, it's the, the ski techs, it's the physios, it's the doctors. You know, there's a tremendous uh, uh, pool of resource building up. You know, which uh, which the academy athletes can access as well. This is proper like winter conditions, so you don't really get that except in the Southern Hemisphere, you know, you can go to glaciers, but it's not the same thing, you know. I just always skied and I can't I can't imagine a, a life without skiing.